Let's take a look at how we can use inequalities to represent problems. The first thing you need to know is a little bit of vocabulary. When to use greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, or less than or equal to. Words such as more than or greater than indicate you'll use greater than. If someone said, we're going to Seabreeze, bring more than $20, you would bring an amount that was greater than 20. The second symbol, greater than or equal to, is given by the following words, at least, greater than or equal to, not less than, or minimal. If someone said we're going to Seabreeze, bring at least $20 or bring a minimum of $20, then you would use greater than or equal to. You'd bring an amount greater than or equal to $20. Next, we have less than. Fewer than or less than indicate you will use the less than symbol. If someone said we're going to Seabreeze, bring less than $20 or fewer than $20, you would bring an amount that was under 20. That's less than. Finally, less than or equal to. Here are the key phrases for that. At most, not greater than, or is not more than. If I said we're going to Seabreeze, bring at most $20, or bring an amount that is not greater than $20, you would bring less than or equal to $20. It's a good idea to be familiar with these phrases so that you can translate from English into mathematics. I'm going to ask you to pause the video here for two minutes, review these key phrases, become comfortable with them, and then we'll move on to example one. Please pause the video now and review these key words. In example one, Andrea has $53.50. <clears throat> she wants to purchase some shirts that she found on sale for $14.95. How many shirts can she buy? <clears throat> well, here's what we know. The amount of shirts, whatever they cost, has to be less than or equal to $53.50. She cannot spend more than $53.50 because that's all the money she has in her pocket. She could spend less than that amount or she could spend exactly that amount. Now, let's write our less than or equal to using a symbol. So the total cost of the shirts less than or equal to $53.50. How do we figure the cost of the shirts? Well, the shirts are $14.95 each. And we figure out an amount by taking the amount per item and multiplying it by how many we have. For example, if we bought 100 shirts, we'd take $14.95 times 100. And that would tell us how much 100 shirts cost. We don't know how many shirts she's going to buy. That's the unknown. But they're $14.95 each. So we have $14.95 times X. X being however many shirts she buys. That has to be less than or equal to $53.50. That means X is less than or equal to 3.579. So Andrea can buy 3.579 shirts. But wait a minute. You're thinking, how can you buy 0.579 shirts? Do they cut the sleeves off, or what exactly happens there? Well, you're right. You can't buy 0.579 shirts. The most shirts that Andrea could leave the store with is actually three. So the greatest number of shirts she can buy is going to be three. In example two, we have a number problem. We saw these earlier where we had something like three times the number increased by eight is 40. Now we're just changing the is to an inequality. In this case, is at most. So three times a number increased by eight is at most 40. We want the greatest possible value of the number. Three times a number increased by eight is three X plus eight is at most less than or equal to 40. So we have 3x plus 8 less than or equal to 40. Now we can solve that inequality, and we have x is less than or equal to 16. That means the greatest possible number is 16. 15 would work, 10 would work, any smaller number would work. You would take 3 times that number, increase it by 8, and it would be 40 or less. 
So the biggest possible one we could use is 16. Example three is for you to try. Again, we saw problems like this earlier in the year. We saw things that would say the length of a rectangle is eight meters less than five times its width, and then it would say the perimeter is 104. Here it says the perimeter is at most 104. My recommendation is to begin by drawing your picture, label the sides of the rectangle, write your inequality for the perimeter being at most 104, and then find the greatest possible width of the rectangle. Please pause the video here, and then come on back. We'll see how you did. 5x minus 8 is the length of the rectangle. x is the width. We have the perimeter where we add 5x minus 8, 5x minus 8, x and x, and that has to be less than or equal to 104. At most means less than or equal to. We'll combine our like terms and then solve the inequality x is less than or equal to 10. So the greatest possible width is 10 meters. If I take any width that is 10 meters or less, I will get a perimeter that is 104 or less. If you picked a number bigger than 10, the perimeter will be more than 104 and it would no longer work. Example four is a consecutive number problem. Two consecutive even numbers and their sum is greater than 98 decreased by twice the larger. They want the smallest possible values for the integers. Please take a few moments, write out the inequality, solve, and find the smallest possible value for the integers. Then come on back, we'll take a look and see how you did. I have two consecutive even numbers. Those numbers are x and x plus 2. It says the sum of those two numbers, x plus x plus 2, is greater than 98 decreased by twice the larger. I've written my inequality, and now I can go through and solve. x is greater than 23. Now, hold on a second. Here's our number line. We have an open circle at 23, and we're shading off to the right. We want two consecutive even numbers. Well, the first two consecutive even numbers are 24 and 26. So it looks like the smallest possible integers are 24 and 26. And if I were to plug 24 and 26 in, I would find that the sum on the left was greater than 98 minus twice the smaller one. This is how we can use word problems in order to write inequalities and then solve for a missing value. Simply know your vocabulary and work through the problem, and you'll do great. This is everything you need to know about using inequalities to solve problems.